We need to leave now. All right. Fine, grab everyone, including the injured. We're leaving now. Let the people of Safe Haven know. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards the western side. Evacuate immediately. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards the west side. Evacuate immediately. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards the west side. Evacuate immediately. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards the west side. Evacuate immediately. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards the west side. Evacuate immediately. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards the west side. Evacuate immediately. People of Safe Haven, we are overrun. Evacuate immediately. Do not go back to your planes. Do not go towards oh, the west side. Sack. Evacuate Bruce immediately. <laughs> In this world, apocalypse has fallen. War, disease, and decimation led to a plague that cannot be defeated. A plague of zombies, the dead, risen from the afterlife. While the military attempts to grasp tightly to the ways of the past, others have begun to live by their own means in this new forsaken world. The remaining humans must unite together to fight off the infectious dead, and worse, the living. Welcome to Origin C. Finally over. Well, good riddance, I, Colonel Ironwood. Good riddance. Looks like the others managed to escape in time. That's good. Guess this. So now, safe haven has really fallen. I gotta get out of here. This is no longer a safe place to be. For me, part of this old, this other place of safe haven collapsed. Right, a good way to get out of here. Yeah. Huh. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I'm still not gonna go out. Go on, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Gotta get out of here. Right, I gotta check. I need to check if the dog and. I made it out as well. Should probably check over the, the gas station first where he was held up. But 
kid. Mars. You were the one person who didn't who did not deserve to die. Damn you, Ironwood. Damn you. You're no longer in this well, Mars. No longer having to suffer. Again! 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 I couldn't! Yeah! Uh, I am really not in the mood for any of you. Not in the mood for your for those shenanigans. But again, I couldn't keep one person safe. I couldn't even do anything against arm wood because of that stupid armor. I could have done something. I could have done something. God, <laughs> I could have done something. Risky to head back into safe haven where the remains. Knows. Doc, you here? Doc, Doc, he's gotta be Charlie, Doc, Silo, Fitchy, anyone. You in here? I must wait for right the light. Nope. See, they must have made it out. Oh. I hope they made it out. Please have let them made it out in time. I saw them run the the opposite way. Couldn't get to them because of the board. Hmm. Freakers everywhere. Doc? Anyone? It looks like they're gone. Good, they made it out. It's good. It's good. Well. Looks like that's all. They aren't here anymore. And the supplies are cleaned out too. <clears throat> okay, so they all made it out, thankfully. If they're not here, then they must have made it out. I hope so. What am I gonna do? Lost everything. Safe haven is gone. But luckily, the Ironwood is uh, gone with it, thankfully. But Kit. Kit's gone. Mars. The others are who knows where at this point. I'm glad they made it out safely, at least. I well, I guess there's only one thing left. Try and we should probably try and get to them. No, having me around would just be trouble. <laughs> you know what? I think. Wait a minute. If there's one other place that Kirk. That's right. That's right. I couldn't find Kirk at all that, but that wasn't the only place. go back and do some more reading. If I'm right about this, I may just have an idea on where I can find him. I gotta go and do some research first, see if I'm correct on this. And if I'm right, Kirk, you bastard, you better watch out because I'm coming for you. Here. Looks like no one's been here yet. 
<laughs> Always have a backup place just in case. Yeah, but I had to use this place. Well. And good thing I took a copy of all my notes. You know, the places I've been in the city so far. But it was not there. Yeah. <laughs> my old. Huh. My, there's my third spare rifle. I'm gonna lift it here. But I think I'm good with this one for now. Well, I'd sit him up here and get him some extra supplies. Refresh my bandages. All before coming here. Looks like all my surprises. Now, let's see. Uh, all the files here. No, no. Next generation. Oh, right. Forgot I had you around there, too. He's not in the city. He must be in the city. He hasn't left. Think. The only place he could be then. The only place he could have gone to. Of course. Of course. If I did there. There was one place AC always had. One he talked about scarcely. But I remember hearing him saying that. The project's next generation. Correct. He would be around the outskirts of the city, of course. I did not think of that sooner. It all makes sense. That's the only place he could still be. That's the only place. <laughs> and if if he's there, oh, trust me, Kirk, you are in for a. Big surprise when I come to pay a little visit. I can finally put this nightmare behind me. Along with everything else. I've got to check. Let's see. I should probably take these with me just in case. Eh, no food, of course. Got plenty of ammo. Got a fresh set of bandages already. Mm. I've been waiting for a while, but it seems almost time. Just gonna be here for one more time before I head out. Okay, so if he's around this the outskirts of the city, that would mean if I cross line this, that's the only place he could be. Once I'm done with you, I will make sure that you pay for everything. In some. Look out, Kirk. I'm coming for you.
Why, hello, Nick. How have you been? I hope you have been doing well. I have been doing some wondrous research on the virus. Kirk, you son of a... Where are you? Oh, come now, Nick. That's not important. What's important is the progress thanks to a little help from... Ironwood. That's right. I bet you weren't expecting him to be helping me with this. It's been such a good supplier of resources for my experiments. <laughs> it's funny that you should mention him. He's dead. Guess you won't be getting your supplies anymore. Well, just because you cut off my supply line doesn't mean it's going to stop me. I'm close to a breakthrough on the project. I work on the very same project you and your team were so helpful with. Just like those other freaky bioweapons you had running around the city? Well, I dealt with them too. No matter. They were just prototypes anyway. But before I go, I left a little gift for you in that base. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> And that's all time to move out and continue with the research. I'm not done talking with you yet, Kirk. Hello? Uh, gone again. Well, Kirk, let's see what this little gift you left behind is. S Sally? Oh my god, you're alive! <laughs> well, looks like you finally came. Glad to see you again, Nick. Don't move around too much. I'll try and patch you up and, as best as I can and get us out of this place. It's no good, I'm not going to make it. What are you talking about? Of course you're gonna make it. Even if I have to carry you through hordes and hordes of freakers, I'm not gonna leave you behind. I know, but it's no good. These wounds are too severe. I'm not going to make it. Not to mention all the things Kirk did to us. You and Frank? You mean he's also here? Where? Oh no, he's, he's not any here anymore. After Kirk's experiment, he turned into a freak of nature that went on a rampage. Last I heard, he was spotted near the library. The... the library? <laughs> Yay! Mark. <laughs> okay, Arkley. Eat this. That was Frank? Yeah, and I heard what you said about dealing with experiments. I'm glad you did it. He's been put to rest. Yeah. I guess I got more confident than. Come on, let's get out of here, and we can't leave this city behind. Nick, would you give it a rest? Look at me. I'm not going to make it and you know it. <clears throat> I was our team's medic, you know. Yeah, I know, but 
What do you want me to do? I can't just leave you here. Well, you know what you can do. And I'd rather die a human than turn into one of those things, so please. You... You can't be serious, right? You're not asking me to. I'm glad we had some good times together. I guess this is goodbye. But please promise me you'll avenge me and Frank and put it into Kirk. I promise. Goodbye, Sally. Goodbye, Nick. See you two around. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll get Kirk. Goodbye. I need to get out. Nick, make sure you know what to do with him. I, I, I can't. I can't. It's the freaking chicken. I can't. I yes, can't. Sir. I, can't oh. I can't. What's wrong with Carlton? Eh, don't ask me. I'll be fine. Okay. Well, <laughs> but seriously, stay alive, kid. I'd like to. You are one of the good ones. Okay. You stay alive, too. And no fine. more getting beat up by big zombies. <laughs> no promises.
guess it wasn't all too bad after all.